Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I am back again with another exciting tool that I have recently bought. Guys, if you want to learn how to make still images move without any technical knowledge, this video is for you. The tool we are going to use today is called Photo Vibrance. It is a new software that makes it easy for anyone to turn any still photos into highly engaging and attention-grabbing animations. Guys, don't skip this video because there are two reasons. One is, it's a lot different from other apps, and the second is I have $2,000 worth of free bonuses if you watch this video till the end. Let me play a short teaser video of this moving image maker tool so that you know what I'm talking about. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my With Photo Vibrance, you can transform any photo into a mesmerizing moving image in just a few clicks. Simply drop your image into Vibrance and choose your preferred resolution. Inside the editor is where the magic happens. Click around the parts of your image you want to remain still. Then choose the motion arrows to add movement to the areas in your image that you want to bring to life. It's really that simple. You can also add text, images, as well as special effects and sky replacements to make your images really grab attention. Once you're ready, choose your file format and hit publish. That's it. Now, let's watch the full walkthrough video to how still images are converted into moving ones. Welcome to Photo Vibrance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started creating animated images inside of Vibrance. So you have two options. You can either drag and drop an image over here or click to browse from your desktop, or you can go through the stock image integrations and search for an image using Pixels or Pixabay. I'm going to go and grab an image from my desktop and just drop it in like so. Okay, cool. So now over here, what we can do is change the resolution and you can set custom dimensions over here. If you select custom, you can go back to the original image size or you can set, you know, sizes that are good for social media like the square one over here. So I'm just going to select that and click on next. Okay, great. So inside the editor, we've got options such as adding text. You can add your logo or an image. You can add effects, shapes. You can adjust the size again and you can publish your our project as well as save your project to work on it at a later stage. So what I'm going to do first of all is begin animating. So what you can do is just zoom into the image over here and you want to go through and set some anchors where you don't want the image to move. So I'm going to go and grab single and just simply start clicking around here and I just want to you know set the water in motion so I want to kind of you know, freeze everything around the water. Okay, great. You can also use the path option if you want to just simply click and then click and, it'll, and hit enter and then it will basically add the paths at the end like that. So I'll just go in and I'll just hit the selection tool actually and go and just move these around a little bit. Okay, great. So now I've got my anchors in place, what I want to do is add some arrows to make the, the image move. So I'm going to select single and just simply click and drag. And what you want to do is not make the arrows too big. Uh, you kind of want to make them this kind of size, depending on how much motion you want to add. The bigger the arrows, more motion you'll add to your picture. So you just want to kind of draw it out like that. Um, we can keep going, add some more arrows and then click on the play button. You can see we've got this nice kind of image like this and what you wanna do is just you know, kind of go in there and maybe add a few more arrows, like so. And there we go. We can also adjust the speed of the animation by just simply dragging this out like this. And what I also want to do with this one is I want to add some fog. So I'm going to go over to the effects over here and I'm just going to scroll down 
and add some fog. I'm going to go grab this one here. Kind of zoom out and then just kind of place it near the bottom like that. And I'm going to set the speed to slow for this fog, okay? So let's just play this through. And it's looking really nice. So once you're ready and you're happy with your image, what you can do is go to the publish button over here. You can select whether you want it to be an MP4 or a GIF image. I'm going to go with MP4 and let's just set it to two loops and click on publish and give it a name. So let's call this one beautiful. And you'll be able to see that uh, image will start exporting and once it's ready we can go view our animated image. So let's just go ahead and preview the video. So let's check this out. And that's how easy it is to go through and create animated images inside of Photo Vibrance. Thank you for watching. As I said at the beginning of this video, I have $2,000 worth of free bonuses for you. Simply click the link below to see all of my bonuses. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Have a great day.